Okay, so I am at a Just Serve event. It is at um, my stake building and it's a clothing drive. And we, we've been, I've been working on this for hours with a bunch of ladies and we still have this many clothes to go through. I wanna show you what it looks like out in the gym. Look at all those tables with all that clothes. Look at the, isn't that incredible? And what's cool is all of this is free. So we're sorting it, we're putting it in sizes and things like that. We've got dresses back there and accessories and belts. The entire stage is nothing but shoes. It's incredible. And we're having so much fun just gabbing and having fun. The youth are here and they're volunteering and everything. And so I was at this event a couple of years ago and a gal came in with her daughter and her daughter held up this shirt and was like, mommy, can I get it? I mean, she thought it was the most beautiful thing ever. And her mom's like, yes, yeah, sweetie, if it's your size, you can get it, no problem. And she turned around and she was just so excited. And I looked at the mom and I was like, that's so cute. And the mom says, this is the only time that I don't have to say no to my daughter. And I love that. So anyway, so we're gonna keep working tomorrow and then the clothing drive is on Saturday. So, hey guys, we've been working. Look how much smaller this pile is behind me. It doesn't quite climb the wall all the way. Although we have finished the guys um, and the men's um, and we have put some women's bags down there that needs to be stored. So we have four stations of women's, but look at all the, the progress on the clothes that we're making out here. Look at that. That is incredible. And the pile of shoes. I have to I have to zoom in on the pile of shoes because that's insane. Okay, do you see all of this up here? That's just nothing but shoes. That's crazy. I'm exhausted. That is a lot of work. We're still kind of beautifying the tables a little bit, but um, oh my gosh, that's a lot of work. You, you gotta see how many clothes this is. This is insane. We have a couple of tables that the legs were bowing because there's so many clothes on top. Crazy. So we've got dresses, accessories, coats, sweaters. Just look at this. This is just incredible. We've got pants and exercise and pajamas, swimsuits, men's, girls, women's, like, Oh my goodness, it's insane. Just, this is crazy. Whew. Okay, we're at the event. I'm so tired because I've been working so, but look at how many people. Isn't this, look at, say hi. <laughs> look at how many people, this is so fabulous. So much fun. The party's over. We had so many people come and look, it comes down faster than it went up. It came down in like 20 minutes. <laughs> of course, we had a lot less clothes that we had to clean up than we had to put out, but what a fabulous event. So many people came out to help, I love it. He's not. So you're saying Pumpkin likes this? Oh, yeah. Go around the driveway. Oh my gosh. Hey, pumpkin. Again, again. Okay, was that so much fun? Will she get back up on the bike? Like willingly? Yeah. Pumpkin. Well, if I call her up. Do it. Come on. Go ahead. What a nerd. <laughs> so we put Doug out with Benji and he's trying to nurse off a of Doug. 
That is hysterical. That is not a girl, that is a boy. Okay, we're out in the pasture. Alex and Archer are working really hard. So Jonathan borrowed a tractor from his brother and we are reinforcing the bottom of the fence because there's been a bunch of holes in the berm and the irrigation leaks from one pasture to the next. So um, every time we irrigate, the water comes out this pipe right here and it floods over and then starts digging a deeper and deeper hole. So we're gonna put that there, compress it, compact it, water it, stuff like that. And then I think that we're gonna put concrete on top of it so it doesn't happen again. We, al we also have to do the other pasture too. And then there's a couple of holes in our pasture, like, let's see if I can find one. There's like one right over there and there's like three of them over there by the gate where grass is just not growing. So I think if we put some soil in there and then I can seed that, hopefully the grass will grow again. So that's the idea. This is really cool because the dirt was free. A friend of mine was digging a pool and if you have to pay to dump the dirt, then it costs more. So if you can find somebody to take the dirt, it's cheaper. So uh, when you're, I figure when you're digging a pool and you've never had a pool down there, there's no concrete, there's no uh, sticks or debris or anything. So it's pretty clean fill dirt. I haven't found anything in this dirt. It's beautifully clean. So free is my price range for sure. Um, so the pile is almost gone. It's right there by that flatbed and he's gonna bring it and finish up filling this hole and there's another hole over here. Now this is what I call a view. I'm on top of the tractor. See? John's under there. <laughs> oh, this tractor stinks.
same time. <laughs> Seriously. Wait, isn't that so much better? You can like see everything. Yeah, I'd never do that. I am terrified is, of heights. Oh my gosh, that's nuts. Hey, could you go put those bricks back up on the wall so the horses don't kick them with their feet? And pull that rubber feeder out of there, okay? All right, now we gotta close gates and get horses out. I'm gonna grab the hose off this tree over here and continue to water the new dirt um, so that it kind of settles and, and gets uh, compacted. And then um, I think Jonathan's getting like the last load or something of the dirt so that we can get it completely out of our front yard, which is a good thing. But we did fix the irrigation issue over here. So I'm gonna have Archer turn okay, the water so I up. think I have a solution for Benji. So a friend of mine down the street has a couple of minis. So this is Frosty. And I don't know if you remember Frosty when he got out, uh-oh, <laughs> he got out and wandered down my way. Um, but I think according to his owner, he's pretty playful. So I think he'll be a really good match for Benji to be able to give him a buddy to play with that is more his speed and more his size. Cause look, I mean, let me, let me, look how tiny he is. <laughs> so his name's Frosty. He looks like a little bit of Frosty, but anyway, so all the other horses are like, excuse me, I'm going to. Nope, you can't go kiddo, just him. Okay, let's get On out the, the gate. On the way home, Frosty met a friend that looks just like him. <laughs> Say hi, Badger. <laughs> Say hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> He's all excited to meet Frosty. Hi. You're my favorite. You're so funny, Badger Dog. You're so funny. Come on. All right, let's go for walk-ins together, okay? <laughs> He's like, you coming too? <laughs> Where are we going? Come on, Frosty. <laughs> okay, so our friend, they turned around. They were just going for a walk, and Frosty's like nickering all over the place for his buddy. He's like, where are you going? <laughs> This is good for me too, because I have to get out and walk. So that's a really good good thing. But he, he's walking like he's drunk. He's all over the place because he's like, <laughs> he's curious about all the other horses that are around here going, hi, I'm Frosty. <laughs> Buddy, you are so cute. You are so cute. Okay. I love that I have friends that will lend me their horses. <laughs> Don't, uh -uh. mind your manners. All right, let's get him home. Okay, so turn it into the house. He has been nickering the entire way, which means he has gotten all of my horses in my barn set off, and they're nickering at everybody now. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All the horses are like, what is that? Benji, I got you a friend. Benji boy. Come on, in we go, come on. Okay, let's see what you're up all about. Oh, now Benji looks tall. He's pinning his ears at him. He's like, what are you? He's meeting Tilly. Oh, good water. Yaha. He's in your hay, Benji. What are you gonna do about that? Be nice, you two. And there's Doug. He's saying, I'm just a baby, don't hurt me.
Are you meeting Tilly, girl? Benji, what's going on? What is going on? Do you have a friend? Don't look at me. I didn't do it. It's not my fault. No, Benji. Don't do that. Aw. Come on, get moving guys. Good boy, Benj. Good boy. Hey, ah, ah, ah. come on, keep going. Keep going. Get to moving. There. You gonna get him? Rawr. <laughs> come on, Benj. Come on, get moving, good boy. Bite his butt, bite his butt. Good boys, good boys. Look at those little legs go. Frosty, look at those little legs go. Oh, did you just bite him in the booty? Did you just bite him in the booty? Come on, Frosty. Keep up now. All right. Let's see if we can change your directions. Come on. Change directions. Good boys. Good boys. Good. See? Where Frosty goes, Benji goes. Good boys. Okay, don't be hating on me for what I'm showing you right now, okay? This is just a trick of the trade. So we have a small mini, something that's pretty small, really not gonna hurt Benji, but he is not a baby. So he is pulling on Benji's halter. See, do you see how they're attached to each other? So every single time um, Frosty moves, Benji has to follow. And so he's basically teaching Benji how to give to that halter and also how to be part of a herd. He's being near the animal, okay? So um, they've, they've gone all the way over there and all the way over there and just all, all over the place. So um, see when Frosty walks off, Benji goes with him, okay? So basically Frosty is leading Benji. That's awesome. Work smarter, not harder. That's what my daddy always told me. Right, daddy? You guys are so funny. Okay, got it all fixed. Frosty is going on a walkabout. And I'm just going to follow him to make sure everything's good. And he's just pulling Benji along with him saying, come on, dude, we got to go investigate this place. I'm sure there's better grass on the other side of the fence. Let's go check it out. Ah, huh, Frosty, you coming back this way? Do you see how Benji has to give to that halter? That is awesome. Okay, I'm going to keep Frosty off the fence, though, because he's a little stallion. There we go. Good boy, Frosty. Good boy. This is so good for both of them. Uh -uh, Frosty, off the fence. Hey, off the fence. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy.
And she's like, okay, when do we get to stop for lunch? <laughs> We're stopping for lunch sometime soon, right? Meeting the neighbors, saying hi to everybody. Frosty's curious and so he's kind of dragging along Benji so he can be curious too. Really good. Love that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet ya. Oh, here's another mini. Uh-oh. He says, you better get off the fence. I own this fence. <laughs> Good boy, Benji. Good boy. Benji needed a hug. He just needed... He just needed a good hug, huh? That was lots of work following little Frosty, huh, buddy? Huh? You're so sweet. Look at say hi to say hi everybody. Say subscribe. <laughs> oh, you big boy. You're so sweet. Go play, go eat grass. Proof that horses have different personalities, that's for sure. He is so quiet. It's it's almost like like Ryder was this outgoing child and Benji's a shy kid, you know? <laughs>